Good afternoon. I'm joined here at the, uh, the podium with uh, Colonel Steve Sellers at the Albemarle County Police Department. I'm Chief Longo of the Charlottesville Police Department. I want to thank you in advance for your patience and your respect and your consideration of the fact that there's very little information that we're going to be able to share you with, with you this evening. Uh, I know you'll have lots of questions. You'll want to know more facts. And those will be facts that we're not in a position to share right now. So at the conclusion of our remarks, we will not be taking any of your questions. There may be, in the days to come, opportunities for that. But we wanted to let you know that in advance. Um, and again, thank you in advance for your respect and, and your patience. It was uh, some 35 days ago, some five weeks since the 18-year-old University of Virginia student, Hannah Graham, disappeared from our downtown pedestrian mall. And since that time, the Charlottesville Police Department, in cooperation with the County of Albemarle and jurisdictions throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia, engaged in an unprecedented search in an effort to find her and return her to her family. Countless of hours, thousands of hours, have been spent by literally hundreds of law enforcement and civilian volunteers in an effort to find Hannah. We think perhaps today proved their worth. Sometime before noon today, a search team from the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Department was searching an abandoned property along Old Lynchburg Road in southern Albemarle County when they discovered what appears to be human remains. Now, fairly shortly after that discovery at a time that was most appropriate, Detective Sergeant James Mooney of the Charlottesville Police Department made a very difficult phone call and reached out to John and Susan Graham to share with them uh, this preliminary discovery. Again, this is, these are human remains and Forensic tests need to be conducted to determine the identification of those remains. But nonetheless, we wanted to be quick and timely to share that informa information <coughs> excuse me, with the Graham family. Now, as uh, Colonel Sellers will point out in just a moment, this investigation is complicated. It's a complex criminal investigation, and it's unlikely that we'll have any information in the very near future and perhaps the days to come that we'll be able to, to share with you about what we learned today and what we'll likely learn in the days to come. But again, we know you'll be patient. We know you'll be respectful because there will come a time when we'll be able to tell you more, but that's not today. On behalf of the Charlottesville and Albemarle County Police Departments, I want to thank everyone who gave up their days, their nights, their weekends, people who called and wrote and dropped food and good wishes and words of encouragement to the search groups and to the detectives that have worked so hard in this investigation. I want to thank all of those people because today would not have been possible but not for their prayers, their encouragement, and their help. And I'll, I also want to say thanks to Mark Eggeman and all the many people associated, associated with the Department of uh, Emergency Management and the many search and rescue volunteers from not just around the Commonwealth of Virginia but a, around the region. Team Rubicon and others who came to help search for Hannah. Mark and his team have spent the last five weeks here in Charlottesville re coordinating and mapping and managing and directing continuous search teams in their efforts. Mark, without your help and the support of your team and the many volunte uh, volunteers you brought to our community, um, we would not have been able to accomplish a difficult mission. Not only are Colonel Sellers and I grateful, but an entire community is grateful for your commitment and for your work. I'm now going to turn the microphone over to Albemarle County Police Chief Steve Sellers. Thank you, Tim. Good afternoon. Uh, I also want to express my, my gratitude and appreciation for Mark Eggelman of the Virginia Department of Emergency Management and the overwhelming outpouring of support and hard work from our area residents volunteer search teams, and, uh, and professional searchers and police officers for the last five weeks. Thank you very much. As Chief Longo said, it was a 
Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office search team today that located the human remains along Old Lynchburg Road. As soon as the discovery was made, the Elmore County Police Department, Charlottesville City Police Department, and the Virginia State Police responded to the scene to begin the investigative process of preserving evidence and evidence collection. The remains will be taken to the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner in Richmond for examination, autopsy, and official identification. Investigators have spent the greater part of this afternoon canvassing the property uh, where the remains were found. This sadly is now a death investigation and therefore we will not be releasing any additional details concerning specifics on the scene or evidence found at the scene. Because the remains were located in Albemarle County, our agency is now the, le is, is the lead on the death investigation portion of this case. As we have since the very beginning, we will continue to work closely with our Charlottesville partners and Virginia State Police partners uh, as, as we've been doing so since the beginning. Virginia State Police Bureau of Criminal Investigation's Appomattox Field Office uh, continues to be heavily involved in this case and has also been from the very beginning. To remind everyone, they are also the lead agency on the Morgan Harrington investigation. We would ask anyone who lives in the area of Old Lynchburg Road or is familiar with that area and recalls seeing any suspicious activity or vehicles following Hannah's disappearance on September 13th or seeing an individual fitting Jesse Matthews' description in that area about that time, to please contact the Albemarle County Police Department. Today's discovery is a significant development and we have a great deal of work ahead of us. We can, we cannot, and we will not jump to any conclusions regarding today's discovery. So I ask for the public's patience as we move forward and pursue what is now a new ongoing death investigation. Thank you very much.